We've taken you back in time to re-experience the first film of the Harry Potter series, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Whether you're a seasoned fan of witches or wizards, or a curious muggle discovering the wonders of the wizarding world, you've come to the right place. Let's revisit the magical world of Harry Potter. Once upon a time, not so far, far away, but hidden within our world, existed a secret society of witches and wizards. In this strange reality, he lived a most peculiar boy named Harry Potter. But Harry's life wasn't filled with magic it was a muggle misery fest. Stuck with the dreadful Dursleys, his utterly unmagical and frankly awful aunt, uncle, and cousin, Harry endured years of neglect and blame for strange happenings he couldn't control. But on his 11th birthday, everything changed. A giant of a man named Hagrid, with a booming voice and a heart of gold, crashed into Harry's life. Turns out, Harry wasn't just any boy he was a wizard, and his parents were magical celebrities tragically murdered by the evil Lord Voldemort, the darkest wizard ever known. Hagrid whisked Harry away to Diagon Alley, a hidden street overflowing with magical shops. Here, Harry was treated like a rock star. He got his Hogwarts robes, a magnificent wand perfectly suited to him, and even a snowy owl named Hedwig a symbol of his newfound status as a wizard. The Hogwarts Express, a magical scarlet steam train, then carried Harry to his true home, Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry, a majestic castle shrouded in mist and magic. Here, a talking sorting hat determines Harry's fate. Along with his newfound friends, the loyal Ron Weasley and Hermione Granger, Harry was sorted into Gryffindor, the house of the brave. At Hogwarts, Harry's life became an extraordinary adventure. He attended classes like potions with the grumpy Professor Snape who seemed to have a personal vendetta against Harry, learned to fly on broomsticks under the watchful eye of Madame Hooch, and even discovered a hidden talent for Quidditch, a thrilling sport played on flying broomsticks. But Hogwarts wasn't all fun and games. Curiosity, fueled by a nagging suspicion, led Harry, Ron, and Hermione to investigate a mysterious three-headed dog guarding a trapdoor. Their quest threw them into a series of difficult challenges a life-sized game of wizard chess that could turn you into a pawn, a deadly encounter with a mountain troll, and a nerve-wracking face-off with a giant plant guarding a greenhouse. Through bravery and quick thinking, they unraveled the mystery. The trapdoor led to a hidden chamber beneath Hogwarts, where the legendary Sorcerer's Stone, rumored to grant immortality, was hidden. It dawned on Harry that Voldemort must be after it. In a heart-stopping climax, Harry confronted Professor Quirrell, a seemingly harmless teacher. But a horrific secret lurked beneath Quirrell's turban, the disembodied spirit of Lord Voldemort himself, possessing the professor to steal the stone. A fierce duel erupted. But Harry, fueled by courage and the lingering love from his deceased parents, managed to thwart Voldemort and Quirrell. The stone was destroyed, ensuring Voldemort's return to power was delayed. For now, exhausted but victorious, Harry recovered in the hospital wing, hailed as a hero. He returned to the Dursleys for the summer, but the experience had irrevocably changed him. He wasn't an outsider anymore. He had a home at Hogwarts, a place filled with magic, friends, and the thrill of the unknown. As the summer stretched before him, Harry couldn't help but look forward to returning to Hogwarts, a place where the extraordinary was just another day at school. Alright magical beings, we've reached the end of Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, but this is just the first chapter in an extraordinary saga. Harry may have vanquished Voldemort, but the darkness hasn't truly faded. He returns to the Dursleys, a world devoid of magic, yet forever changed by his adventures at Hogwarts. This victory over the Sorcerer's Stone may have been a win for the good guys, but it's a mere stepping stone in the grand scheme. The forces of darkness haven't been vanquished, merely delayed. A powerful enemy lurks in the shadows, and Harry, the boy who lived, is now marked as a potential threat. The adventure has just begun, and the stakes will only grow higher. But Harry isn't alone. He has forged strong bonds with Ron and Hermione, his loyal companions on this magical journey. They'll face whatever comes their way together, with courage, wit, and maybe a sprinkle of polyjuice potion for good measure. So that's the story of Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, folks. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite part of the movie was, and what magical adventure you'd like me to explore next. Fax News.